Hey there everybody, what's going on? It's Austin from Boss, and welcome to the GT1000 Ultimate Guide video series. And in this video, we're gonna walk you through how to connect your computer, your tablet, and your phone to the GT1000 and control it. So we'll start with the computer version first for Boss Tone Studio. And basically it's gonna be the same process for both the Windows and the Mac version. The only difference is that Windows automatically downloads drivers, but there's a little bit of a process step with the Mac driver download. So let's walk you through that. First you wanna to go to the GT1000 website landing page on the boss.info website. Once you get there, you scroll down to the downloads tab, you go ahead and download the appropriate drivers for your operating system. Now, in order to determine your operating system, go to the Apple in the upper left hand corner and go to about this Mac. This will confirm the operating system version that you're running on, which will reflect the drivers that you download. Just follow the prompts and download the drivers. This will require your computer to restart. Be sure that system preferences allows you to, to install and download the drivers. This could be one of the errors that could happen during the driver download or the driver upload. And this could be a great way to start in troubleshooting. All right, so once we have our drivers downloaded, we can then plug in the computer into the GT1000. Again, for Windows computers, all you have to do is plug it in and it will download the drivers automatically from the internet. If you have any sort of issues with connecting your GT1000 to your Mac or PC computer, be sure to uninstall the drivers. After you uninstall the drivers, make sure to do a fresh download of the drivers directly from the website. Sometimes Wi-Fi can interfere with the download and possibly corrupt the file. So this is really good to do if you have any sort of connectivity issues. On a Windows computer, uninstall the drivers and then reconnect the USB cable. Okay, so once you get Boss Tone Studio connected and you're actually seeing changes on your GT1000, just scrolling through the different presets that are right here on the left, I'll walk you through what the rest of the controls do. So going back to our first preset here, the top panel here is your effects chain. So all the way here is your guitar input, and then all the way to the right is the output. You can simply just click on the thing that you want to change, and then down below is going to be all the adjustments for that change. Uh, we can also go into the individual effects here. We can also turn them on. We can change to different algorithms, and we can also change their individual parameters just from the knobs down here. Okay, so your control expression menu will be located right up here. Librarian is very useful for backing up any sort of patch sets. This can also be really good for exporting out master patch lists. By simply clicking on this arrow here, we can export any set list that we want, either to the GT1000 itself or as a file that we can then export to our desktop and save for later. Tone Central is really fun to explore if you're just getting to know your GT1000. And then lastly, we have our system menu, and the system menu is really good to know because this is where we can make all of the master adjustments such as our input settings, our output settings, a master all data. This is really good if you're going to be updating your GT1000 and you already have a bunch of patches already saved, you can then restore those patches that you saved as a backup file directly into your GT1000 after an update. Using GT1000 with a tablet or a phone. So now in order to do that, we wanna make sure that the Bluetooth switch is engaged inside the GT1000. To do that, we simply press menu, we go to hardware settings, and then we click other. And now we see a something called a Bluetooth switch, and this we want to turn on. Different IDs mean that multiple GT1000s can be synced over multiple different devices. Once the Bluetooth switch is set on, we can go ahead and get out our device. So now that we have our tablet open, we can go ahead and go into the app store and this is on all Apple devices, we can go ahead and go into the search bar and we can type in BTS or Boss Tone Studio for GT1000. We click the search engine there and we have a couple of options here. Now we wanna make sure that our GT1000 is up to date. Check the firmware in the how to update my GT1000 video. We wanna go ahead and download the Boss Tone Studio for the latest firmware that we have. So we go ahead and download it. Once it is downloaded, we can go ahead and open. And now once the Bluetooth settings are open, we are brought to this menu. So we click Bluetooth MIDI uh, device. It asks me if I should allow the Bluetooth to connect. We say yes. We go ahead and click on the GT1000 there as a connected device. We are now connected with the GT1000 directly. So we can go ahead and click out of that menu. We can click okay. 
And now you should see a Bluetooth connection indicator on the screen of your GT1000, as well as the patch that matches in that GT1000. Again, we can check that we have established connection as we change through patches and the GT1000 responds to those patch changes. Same process goes for a phone or an Android. Now, if you have any sort of issues connecting to your devices, be sure that you go through the Bluetooth checklist and make sure to disconnect any other Bluetooth devices that might be connected to your phone or your tablet. And once again, you can confirm connection by simply going into the patch list here in the user section and selecting through a different patch and you should see a response to a different patch on your GT1000. And that's how you connect your GT1000 to a computer, tablet, or a phone cellular device. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.